everybody, it's a crazy fangirl shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the fifth episode. I think it's the fifth episode. Yeah. Oh no, it's the fourth episode. Sorry, I'm mixing this up with Outlander. The fourth episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars. So, oh, what an emotional ride it's been because we finally have Echo back and now it's an exciting time but also nerve-wracking time because they're going back to obviously the base and there's I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure if there's promos for each of these episodes because I'm not watching anything. So, like, I'm literally going in blind, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited to watch this because we were left kind of, like, on a bit... Not, like, a massive cliffhanger, but a bit of a cliffhanger because I'm really worried, again, about what's going to happen to Echo, whether they're going to get control of him in some way or if they're going to capture him again. I I'm worried, and I just... I don't want my clones to get hurt, especially... um. Rex, because Rex has been through so much, and I don't want him to lose any more of his comrades, so yeah, let's just jump straight into this, because I'm very excited. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Yeah. It does leave uncertainty. Let's have a look, though. Oh, that's nice of Mace Windu to say that. I didn't expect him to say that. Oh, the music for the show is so good. Would you? Because I don't think you know that they're there or that they have your information clone thing. I'm trying to be cool. Not working. <laughs> Oh, this looks so good! Yeah, see, mate? Oh, no. No! No! Yeah, so Trench has the last number, so Anakin? Yeah! God. Oh! Anakin! The dark- Oh! No! The dark side of Anakin! Ah. No! Oh! Anakin! Oh my god! They're touching upon the like this part in this season. I'll talk about it at the end. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I don't like the guy, but he's got some style. <laughs> Glad he said that. Oh, that's a ah, oh, that's very bittersweet. Oh, yeah. Let's start off. Um, I want to start off with that ending because it was. Very well done, especially because of that last bit. I love the fact that, you know, the leader of Force 99 was like, you know, to Echo. He was like, you know, you're always welcome here if you don't fit in with those, like, other clones. And I think that that was a good thing to do, especially because of the fact that Echo is so different. Like, I know that probably, like, you know, that's why Echo was confused for a minute. He was like, what do you mean? Like, um, in that request he was offered you know because I think Echo like was just thinking for a moment like oh he can go back to being you know a regular clone soldier alongside Rex and stuff but you know he's been through a lot and you know he obviously is probably going through a lot because I mean the torture he went through was crazy and I just 
Like, oh, it breaks my heart. But, like, yeah, I think Echo would be more comfortable in that squadron rather than, you know, the rest of the normal clones that he used to be a part of. I think because of after everything he's been through. But to see Rex kind of, like, you know, he, like, he obviously said, like, you know, I respect your decision if you are going to go with that squad. And, you know, he walked away. You know, like, he's his back is turned to Echo. You know, he's kind of, like, hoping that he won't do it. You know, like, he's happy for him. But at the same time, he's like, no, don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, ah. Oh. That hurts because, you know, again, I said this at the beginning of, like, the reaction video. Like, Rex has been through so much and he's lost so many men and so many of his friends, aka brothers. And it's just sad that, you know... He's gone through this whole mission of trying to get Echo back. But it also went to the, like, to that point where he saved him, but he's not going to be able to, like, um, have the same thing as it was before. Especially because, you know, like he said in the previous episode, it's just going to be like old times. But in reality, and I think now that I think back, like, Echo was kind of like, yeah, like old times. But he seemed very, like disconnected from that statement like especially in his in his voice and like yeah thinking about it now i think echo will definitely fit in with um this um force 99 especially now um even though they didn't trust him at first which is fair enough because you know again like we didn't really know what was going to happen with echo if he was going to be on the good side or the bad side so i'm glad that they kind of touched upon that especially in this part oh anakin Jesus! And, you know, they were saying that they were going to, like, touch upon more um, topics that were obviously touched in the movies, but they obviously want to make those connective, like, character development moments to connect more with the films, and they did it with Anakin! Oh my god! Like, yeah, that just reminded me so much of Revenge of the Sith, because, oh my god... <laughs> it's the yeah it's like we're watching like them go through this whole process of him changing and i hate it because i love Anakin so much but then like you know when he's evil i'm like nah nah bye bye boy and i've been talking to a lot of different people about the clone wars recently because the series has just been so good so far and especially like with the people in my comment section i love talking to you guys about it um but yeah this is so connected to Revenge of the Sith, especially with the, in terms of the character arc of um, Anakin. And I just love that they're making those connections. And especially, like, I only realized this when I went and watched back the seasons. Like, I told you guys, like, I went back and watched the whole series. And especially after the first episode of season seven, because I was like, ah, I can't remember everything. I need to go back. Um, and I'm in the process of still watching it. But I've been watching, like, most of the seasons and seeing those, like, moments where you know for example like the council's keeping stuff from Anakin and you know they're lying to him etc like those are the things that made him want to leave the Jedi Order and that just made him resent the Order as well so so many years ago the movies came out and everyone was like oh the movies are not good you know like it's not great and you know they were bashing all the cast and stuff when in reality it was just you know unfortunately it wasn't the best writing for the films but I still love the prequels they're so good and and especially with Clone Wars now, you can just connect everything and you're like, oh shit, this is why Anakin, you know, turned evil. Because, you know, everyone was saying, like, it was so easy for him to turn evil. But when you watch the Clone Wars and you see why, it makes more sense. And oh, just that, watching him, like, oh, just kill that admiral i was like just chills because it's like you know he's turning evil and you know he's turning more to the dark side because he was like i'm not afraid of you know killing you like it's so scary and it's just sad because anakin is such a great character and then he obviously turns into darth vader but oh. <laughs> so many feels <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this reaction i hope you guys enjoyed it please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on this new episode of star wars the clone wars season seven i'm enjoying this series so far and yeah i mean like it's connecting all my love for the star wars universe into one series and it's just making me want to go back every week and watch like the clone wars and then just watch the movies but i have no time for that but i'm i want to try and finish off the clone wars series like the rest of them because i'm up to season four now and oh it's so good yes i love it and yeah it's just i love this show so much and i can't yeah i can't wait four more it's gonna be so good like we still have so much to go through and i can't wait to see like stuff with the and Anakin, and you know their friendship and then you know everything else that's to come.
this series. So yeah, I'm excited. Well, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!